Hey guys, this is Mr. Ninja Boy, and if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about gaming and tutorials. And in my tutorials, I always like to make them as simple as possible, easy for you guys to understand. And uh, you guys enjoy that. And you guys have been nagging me to make this tutorial for a long time, and I totally see why I don't blame you at all. The last FPS tutorial I made was about three months ago. So I'm going to take this tutorial series more seriously now, because you guys uh, really enjoy it, and I like to help you guys all develop the game of your dreams the dream game you always wanted to make but never knew how and um, my mission is to help you make that and to achieve your goals so this is tutorial 5 if you haven't followed the previous tutorials I recommend you do that and then come to this tutorial because um, it's all gonna get messed up and you won't know uh, what I'm talking about and all that so yeah uh, watch the pre previous um, if you visit my channel there's a tutorial section and uh, I also made two FPS kits right on your screen, so click one of them. Uh, I recommend the newer version, version uh, 5, 0.5 or something like that, uh, or version 2, sorry. Click on that and download that. Um, there's free guns, free hand models, and all that if you don't have it already. So yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, if you follow all this tutorial, this is what you're going to get. So you better follow this tutorial, because this is really what you're going to get um, done by today. Um, I'm going to explain everything precisely, so hopefully your game will look just as good as this, if not better. Alright, so let's get started. So as you can see here on the bottom, all of these assets are provided for you guys as a free download in the link in, in the description below. So download that and you'll have all of these scripts, along with the uh, example scene, like a demo scene of this whole project done. But I recommend you to go through the whole process so you will learn more efficiently. So let's get started. Um, first we're gonna add in a first person controller of course so uh, as you can see here and you will have to import the standard assets by going to assets import package and character controller and whatever else you need like skyboxes etc and if you guys want to know how to do all those simple stuff visit my earlier tutorials. Anyway let's get started with this so let's close this now we'll, we're going to have to add a gun into the player, so um, if you download one of my FPS kits, you're going to get a lot of 3D models of guns, so just find one, uh, I think I have one here, yes, as you can see there, and I actually parented a hand to it, I, got, I went through that in the previous tutorial, so again, if you're not sure how to do this, uh, visit my previous tutorials, but anyway, all of these models are in that kit. Alright, so as you can see there in the camera view, I've got it positioned pretty well. And um, I am now going to parent this, which includes the gun and the hand parented to each other, to the main camera of the first person controller, of course. So it follows around, um, like I explained in previous tutorials. So let's go to the script. And now we're going to add a crosshair. Uh, I explained this before, but I kind of modified this script to make it a little better. So this is the crosshair script. We're going to drag it to the main camera. So once you drag it to the main camera, click on the main camera, and this is also an image that I include in the download, and drag this image to the texture 2D. Unless if you made your own, then you've got your own image, and it's probably better than this one, because this one I just made it quickly in Photoshop, but it's not that good. Alright, now we are going to add sprinting and crouching into the game implemented, and uh, as you can see in this script, character mode of V2, you should get it in the download, of course, and... Uh, Basically what this is, I implemented uh, crouching and sprinting for the player in the script. So we are going to go to our first person controller and drag that right in here. So we're going to actually uh, edit some things here because actually you can see the walk speed interferes with the walk speed of the original character motor. But we're not going to delete the original character motor for now and the input controller because it's going to mess things up. So right now we're going to put walk speed to 1 and run speed to 6. Test, uh, trust me, I tested these myself and this works fairly well. If you want, you can make this a little higher just for sprinting and um, also for crouch speed, just keep that the same. And also right now, uh, if we enter play mode, uh, you're gonna see that there is an error. So we are walking, now we're sprinting. As you can see, the sprinting is perfectly working right now. And the thing is, when you press C, uh, the player doesn't crouch. So we're gonna exit this and I made another script which is called crouch and drag that right in and it should work perfectly from now on. So enter play mode and press C. As you can see there, the player crouched perfectly. Alright, so I, as I explained in I think tutorial 4, um, 
you don't want a mouse in your game so you want to hide the cursor so um, as you can see here in this JavaScript again in the download all in one file uh, download um, sorry uh, drag this uh, script into the main camera and uh, that should work perfectly so once you enter the game you won't see your mouse so now we're gonna add gun movement as we did in previous tutorials this is basically redoing everything but um, so you guys understand it pretty well it's pretty straightforward so once you drag in the gun movement into your gun uh, the script and then drag your gun to the variable uh, gun here there you go so now we're gonna add in an, uh, an aim in sight uh, way way better than last into previous tutorials because um, in tutorial 4 it wasn't very straightforward a lot of people got compiler errors and some I don't know they were confused so this is actually a much much simpler way for aiming in sights so I made this another script uh, so go to your uh, main actually first we're gonna create a camera so game object create other camera so once we've got this camera you want to position this where you want the, uh, the aim in sight so as you can see here uh, on the bottom right uh, you can see the uh, camera preview oh I think my fuck my mouse just died uh, I'll be right back I need it I need to get some batteries for my mouse this is horrible I'm doing a tutorial my mice alright so as I was saying um, once you've positioned this camera uh, make sure you put clipping planes all the way to as low as possible which is 0 0.01 so you can see the whole gun I'll show you what happens if you put it up yeah the gun just disappears so we're gonna put it as low as possible and uh, this is the aim in sight camera so once you have set it up properly drag this into the main camera of the first person controller so it's parented to that and now we're gonna add in a script to the main camera so uh, find the aim sight script and drag it right in and uh, yeah maximize that uh, as you can see here there's this variable called cam so we're gonna drag in the camera that we just set up to this variable cam uh, so now we're going to go to play mode and um, let's hope it works. Alright, so this is normal mode and I right click and right click and it's, it works. And as you can see the crosshair also disappears because I implemented that in the uh, crosshair script itself. So yeah, um, aim in sight and gun movement all working perfectly fine. Alright, so now we're, I'm going to teach you prefab shooting and adding an enemy, a simple enemy intelligence system and uh, where you can actually shoot in a health system so uh, in the previous tutorial I implemented I showed you guys how to um, implement a, a raycast shooting system and a lot of you guys were sending me messages like oh I don't know how to do this uh, I showed you pretty well but um, it's actually confusing you're right anyway so I'll show you prefab shooting which you will not be confused because it's very 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 simple so um, uh, as you can see here, I made a, let's find the script, I made a prefab shooting script right here. And we're going to go to the uh, main camera. Th uh, this is actually pretty surprising because the prefab shooting is going to be um, part of the main camera. So we're going to go to main camera and drag in prefab shooting right here. So we're going to have to make a, a bullet with a rigid body. And uh, this is actually very well, for, uh, works very well for bullet drop. So uh, now I also have this uh, free 3D model. Um, this bullet, um, you can download it. It's in. It's all in this whole um, package in the um, link in the description below. So just drag in the bullet and resize it. And what I recommend you do is put the bullet right in the uh, muzzle right here um, in the gun. So uh, yeah, resize it and put it right in the muzzle. I'll be right back. All right. So I put the bullet in the muzzle just like I told you. I hope you did so too. And now we. Um, uh, yeah, we go to main camera, uh, and uh, you added the prefab shooting thing. Now, actually, we're going to go back to bullet, and we're going to go to component physics rigid body. Click on that. I already did it. So um, just put, add a rigid body to the uh, bullet, and we're going to go to the main camera and drag in the bullet to this variable, which is the bullet. All right, so yeah, uh, set the speed to like 250 or like 300, something like that, because you don't want it to be really slow. So we press play and um, let's hope it works so I click and as you can see you might not be able to see that on my screen but you might be able to see it on yours actually I'm gonna put it a little down just to, so you guys can see uh, uh, so split it to like some ridiculous shit like 20 okay let's see now alright so you can probably see that unless if you're freaking Stevie Wonder but um, uh, yeah so the bullets actually do shoot but how are we gonna implement an AI system I will show you right in one second
Before we do anything else, you have to go back to bullet and drag in the bullet damage script to the actual bullet itself. And now uh, one more thing we have to add to the bullet, click on the bullet itself and then, oh sorry, oh god, uh, okay there's the bullet, and then go to um, uh, component, physics, uh, box collider. So yeah, you should have a box collider right now, and now we're going to go to, uh, yeah, uh, now we're going to add an enemy to a very, very simple enemy. Next tutorial, I'll show you how to make the enemy um, with an actual a zombie and add a, a, like effects and um, blood um, blood particles and uh, animations for the zombie. But we're, we're just going to add another capsule, just like the player. So uh, we're going to go to Game Object, create other uh, capsule, which is right there. So we created this capsule. This capsule is going to be our enemy for now, so let's just put it back here. Alright, so the enemy uses two uh, separate scripts. One is AI Simple, so go to your capsule, uh, which you added in as our enemy, and drag in the AI Simple script into um, the enemy, and then uh, drag in the uh, enemy health also. So uh, you can set the enemy health from 0 to 100, and you, uh, this you will have to go to your first person controller, uh, drag it in to this variable, which is target. Okay, so uh, once you've done that, uh, we're gonna go go to play mode and test how everything is working. If it's everything is going well, so uh, as you can see here, um, I added render. So the enemy, when it's a far away, when it's really really far away, it's not gonna it's gonna spawn by being green. Um, it's not because this is um, like an artificial intel uh, intelligence, of course. If you get a little closer, it's gonna turn yellow. Once it turns red, it's gonna start chasing you. So if we shoot it once, shoot it twice, it's gone. As you can see there, we just killed our enemy. But we don't have any health of our own. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial. But before I leave this tutorial, I'm going to show you one more thing. A lot of people are having trouble before with stopping animations and uh, with the animation setup. So uh, let, if I have, do I have an animation? Let's see. Let's go to our animation window. And uh, we're going to create a new clip. Let's just say add component. Uh, um, let's just say hi. That's that's our animation for now. So uh, let's add a few keyframes to this animation. Uh, oh god, what the hell? Okay. Oh, there we go. So this is a very weird animation, but it, it's an animation. Uh, so let's just say we want this to play while while we press W. So go to game. Okay, that is a weird animation, but, um, uh, so this animation is assigned to your gun in the hand, so, uh, if you go to animation setup, as, um, I explained in the previous tutorials, you might not know what I'm talking about if you haven't watched them, but let's just say press W, uh, if input get, get key down, press W, animation play, and we named it high. So, uh, we named it high, but, uh, now, um, if we press W, it's gonna keep on playing. Oh yeah, make sure when you make an animation, go to your... Uh, find your animation uh, high and then make sure this is set to loop so once it's set to loop it should be fine then go back to your scripts and then um, once you're here uh, you want to uh, um, make another uh, duplicate the animation setup so by going command D or control D I believe on Windows I'm on a Mac right now so I'm not sure about Windows but I'm pretty sure it's control D um, open up uh, your duplicate and then go to uh, um, this this line six, and then go go to if input dot get key down. You want to change down to up, so change this to up. Oh god, uh, can't even spell. Okay, up, and then get key up W. Uh, plays the let's just say did I make an idle animation? Plays the uh, we'll just make an idle animation right now. So idle. You can make an idle animation. So this is basically just the same thing as input get key down, except this get key up. So once you release the key W, it's going to play um, an idle animation, which you should make an idle animation. Uh, do I have an idle animation? No, I don't. So uh, let's make an, a quick animation called idle. Create a new clip. Let's call this idle. Save this in the assets folder. Oh, god, yeah, let's replace it. Um, so we're going to go to record, add a few keyframes, just like breathing, I guess. Let's just see that for a second. 
All right, so that's our idle animation. Uh, so once you got that, you want to go back to your project and drag in these two scripts that we made. Uh, the animation setup one, animation setup two, which is du duplicate for basically get key up. So now when we press play, oh, let's just kill our enemy quickly. Oh god. Uh, kill enemy, kill enemy. Enemy die. Okay, so now uh, I'm on idle right now because I released W. Now we press W and it plays this stupid animation. Then we uh, release W and as you can see, it plays idle. So I hope I helped you in this tutorial and um, please subscribe if you haven't already because you will um, follow all my. Uh, I'm gonna make a lot more tutorials on this because I like to help you guys make a first-person shooter game. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. See you guys next time.